Hey there, everybody. My name is Nourish Pillow, and welcome to episode four of Kerbal Space Adventures. Today, I'm going to take you up to the Mun in four clicks. With MechJub, of course, but, you know, it's not cheating if you're learning from it. That's, that's my view on the subject. So what you're going to do, uh, if you've watched my other videos, you'll see that this craft looks pretty much exactly the same as my other crafts. It's got four fuel tanks and asparagus staging with a middle stage that goes up to a uh, lander stage. You don't need to put the lander on there. You don't need to put the uh, the feet and everything if you're not planning on landing on m m the Mun yet. But you'll need uh, all this stuff on here to get up to the Mun really easily. Remember to put MacJeb and some batteries and a uh, stable energy source on your actual craft so that you don't get dark you don't go dark halfway through the mission and have to end it and restart it and you keep wondering why it doesn't work and you keep doing it and keep doing it until you realize oh wait I'm out of battery power trust me it's happened to me multiple times and it does not feel good so once you've gotten your craft ready get on the launch pad and open up MechJib over here on the right hand side click these two tabs Shh, this doesn't count as click stop to the mon click those two tabs and then uh, Literally, just input your orbit altitude at 100 kilometers, press engage, and press the spacebar. Oh. There we go. This will send you up to a perfect orbit that'll get us ready to uh, transfer over to the Mun and uh, orbit the Mun. I'll see you guys up there. All right, welcome back, guys. If you are seeing this and the Ascent Autopilot has disengaged, you've made it. You're in the 100 kilometer parking orbit. Now we're ready to go over to the transfer tab on the orbital operations and hit the transfer point to MUN. This will automatically move us to the perfect point where MUN and our orbit will sync up. I'll zoom up for you. So here and here will sync up and uh, it's just a matter of firing the thrusters and we'll be on our route to the MUN. This might take a while as uh, you know orbits move different speeds but you'll get there eventually. Don't even worry about it. What is that now? That's our second click. We're going pretty well. Here we are, ready to move to the injection burn point. Mechjeb is moving our craft into position to extend our orbit and firing the engines in 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Mechjeb is firing our engines and is extending our orbit out so that we meet the Mun and get caught in its gravitational pull. As you can see, it starts off slow, but it gets really, really fast. And if you're not careful, you can shoot yourself out into the into a sun orbit, which wouldn't be very fun. So watch out and let MechJeb do the work. Now watch the angles that you're at right now with MechJeb, because once you once you do it with MechJeb a couple times, and you and you learn from it, then you'll be able to do it on your own, and that feels so much better than using an auto autopilot. Here we are. So you can see that our orbit has changed to purple now. That's the orbit that's going to happen once we swing past the Mun. Now that, now that we've transferred over to the Mun, we can go and close the Ascent Autopilot, since we won't need that, and press the Circ button. Don't press anything, though. What we need to do now is speed up time, super time lapse. You can put it up to 100, 1,000. Probably 1,000 is pretty good, because what it's going to do is it's going to speed up and then slow right down. When it gets caught in the gravitational pull and then just swing right around and uh, go into that purple orbit but be careful we don't want to go into that purple orbit no 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 what we're going to do here is actually get into a 100 kilometer parking orbit on mun once we're in a 100 kilometer parking orbit on mun then we're able to land there or go back to earth uh, sorry kerbin or whatever we want so here this is it now we're caught in the gravitational pull and now our orbit has changed actually to yellow, so that's going to be what is actually going to happen. So you can see that we don't actually have an orbit around the Mun in the moment, we have a Mun escape. This is alright, doesn't matter with us. What we're going to do is wait until we're 100 kilometers off the surface of the Mun. We're going to hit the circularize button, and we're, having, we're going to orbit around the Mun. It's that easy. So uh, this, this time warp, let's say it counts as one click. Only one, no big deal. I need it to equal four because because that's what I said in the video. So uh, watch watch out that number over there at the circularized thing. Whoa, and perfect. There we go. Circularizing at 97 kilometers. Good enough for me. What's going to do is it's going to slow down our orbit because if we keep the orbit at this speed, we're just going to shoot out into the sun. So it's going to slow down, which will allow us to get completely caught in Mun's gravitational pull. And in three, two, one, we have orbited the Mun. 
Congratulations, guys. You guys have made it to the mun, and you guys are ready to land, go back to Kerbin, do whatever you want. But this is this is a good stepping, stepping stone. Remember, do this a couple times, learn from it, do it yourself without an autopilot, because that, you, that, that makes you feel so much better about yourself. Thank you guys for watching episode 4, and stay tuned for episode 5, where we go from this, straight down on the Mun's surface. And maybe get back to Kerbin if we have enough uh, fuel, but don't ask me, I have no idea if we do have enough fuel. I haven't tried it yet. See you guys later, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite, do all that good stuff, because... Trust me, this channel is coming out with some awesome content soon. See you guys later. I'm Nourish Pillow for Create Creative.